Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using an Excel VBA user form to allow numeric entries through text box controls. As always, if you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in this Excel workbook fictitious data, and of interest here are just these three variables, GPA, midterm exam, and final exam. So let's assume that you want to add data to this worksheet using a user form. And you want to add these three values, the GPA, the midterm exam, the final exam. And in this user form, you want to make sure that if a non-numeric entry is entered into a text box control, that the user is notified and that text box control is highlighted. So the user could go back and put in a numeric entry and try again. So I've already created a user form for this project and it is associated with this blue rectangle to the right. So if I right click, go down to assign macro, it's associated with sheet one dot open form. So if I left click on the blue rectangle, it opens this user form. So let's take a look at this in the Visual Basic Editor. That would be Alt F11. And you can see I have code for initialize in user form one. And here's user form one, the one I just had up. And the code I have in here now dynamically populates the captions. So you can see here above these cells, there are no captions visible. That's because when the user form is initialized, it's at that time when the captions are brought in from these three cells on the worksheet. So I can change these variable names and that will be reflected on the user form when it's initialized. So that's what this subroutine does. And down here for sheet one code, I have this one subroutine, sub open form, and that's associated with that blue rectangle as I showed you before. And this is just user form one show, and it sets the focus to text box one, which is this text box here to the left. So I'm gonna add two more subroutines that will perform the function that I want. So first I'm going to double click on this command button one that has the caption enter. We have private sub command button one underscore click and I'm going to start with this line of code. If not is numeric text box one or not is numeric text box two or not is numeric text box three then. So this will trigger if there is a non-numeric value in any of these three text box controls. So before I go any further, I'm gonna end this if statement. So end if, and then create some space there. So we start with this if then statement and we're going to place four more if then statements in this in this statement in this conditional statement so the first one is going to check for text box one so if this is triggered if this first line of code is triggered at this point we don't know which text box control or controls triggered it. So here we're checking text box one. If not is numeric text box one dot value then set the control to nothing and change the back color to yellow. So this highlights the text box control. And then I'm just gonna put in two more that are the same as this except for text box two and text box three. So I'll paste these two in. So again, the only thing different is just the 
number for the text box. So this first one's one, next one's two, and the last one is three. And then we need one more if statement. And that'll be to operate the message box. So we have if message box, and then this is in quotes here, form must contain only numbers. Do you want to continue? VB question plus VBS no, not equal to VBS, then exit the subroutine. And then of course end if for this if then statement. Now I just need the code outside of this first if statement that will place the values in the text box controls on the worksheet. So I'll paste that in. And this is fairly straightforward, active cell equals text box one dot value, and then I offset one column for text box two, and two columns for text box three. So that corresponds, uh, for example, if you select GPA, like cell B8, that would be cell B8, C8, and D8. It'll populate these three cells. And then the next cell in the GPA column will be selected, active cell dot offset one comma zero. So after the entry, for example, say of these three values, cell B8 becomes the active cell. So we just put these three in and we press enter, then B8 is active. So we're ready for the next row of data to be entered. And then we need to reset the form. So there could be, at this point, there could be cells, text box controls, that have a yellow highlight. And we want to clear all those and put them back to white, a white back color, and clear all the values as well. So I'm going to use a separate subroutine to do that, and then call that subroutine from this subroutine. So I'm going to paste that in now. I'll put that below the subroutine. And this subroutine is named reset form. So, so sub reset form, text box one dot back color equals VB white. Same thing for text box two and text box three. And then text box one value equal to nothing. Again, the same thing for the other two text box controls. And then we're going to set the focus on text box one. So from here, I just need to call this new subroutine at the end of the one I used before, the one I just typed in. So it's just going to be call reset form. So after this active cell offset, it's going to call this subroutine here. It's going to reset the form. So let's take a look and see how this works. Going back to the worksheet, so I want to put in the records for participant 1007, so I select cell B8 because that's the next empty row, and click the blue rectangle. The focus is already set to GPA, so I'll type in a GPA in this case 2.5. For midterm exam, I'm going to put in the string ABC. So this is non-numeric. And then for final exam, I'll put in a numeric value of 70. So we have two values that are acceptable and one that's not acceptable for this application. So I click enter and I get the message box. Form must contain only numbers. Do you want to continue? If I click no, it's going to bring me back to the user form so I can correct the error. So I come back here and ABC is cleared out. I'm going to put a numeric value in now, say 55, and click enter. And I'll just move this to the side. We can see that the information is now added to the worksheet. So now moving down to the next record, the record for participant 1008. I click the blue rectangle, and I'm going to show you a property of 
this user form the way I have it configured that you may want to change depending on the application. So let's say in this example we have a GPA and a midterm exam but the final exam we want to be a string. Uh, in this case NA. So for GPA I put in 2.1 for midterm say 48 and for final exam N forward slash A for not applicable. Now we know this is going to give us that message box because NA is not a number. So instead of clicking no for the do you want to continue, we click yes. So we're, we're saying we want to continue and have the data in these text box controls moved to the user form. However, the final exam text box control has already been cleared by the code. So when I click yes, I only get the, the GPA of 2.1 and the midterm exam of 48. If I want the override to function in a way where the string can be added to this worksheet, I need to go back in to the code and delete or comment out the text box one dot value is equal to nothing in these three if-then statements. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm just going to use an apostrophe here to comment these out. So the code after the apostrophe, the font turns green, and that means it will not be executed. It's, it's just skipped. So the text box one value will not be set to nothing because that's now just a comment. So moving back, I'm going to set this for participant 1009. And again, I'll use the same information, GPA 2.1, midterm 48, and NA for final exam. Click Enter, and you can see it still highlights the text box control, but it doesn't delete the contents. So if I click Yes, it will put that data on the worksheet. So I have a string on the worksheet. I hope you found this video on using an Excel VBA user form to ensure numeric entry on a worksheet to be useful. Thanks for watching.